I just wanted to share another experience with you, a, a an encounter I had with Nicola yesterday. Um, I normally write down my meditations, but I feel like this one I need to record because of the details in it and the feelings and everything that the nuances about this medita particular meditation. So I will again put chapters into this video so you can skip ahead to the readings if you like. Um, if not, please stick around and see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to explain it to you now in a way how I experienced it. So what I was feeling at the time. You're going to realise, obviously, because of the type of video this is, what it was i didn't realize at the time but i'm going to explain it to me as it was happening to me now i've meditated for about 30 years um so i'm going to try and explain the little things about med what goes inside your head as well within a meditation as well so yesterday i went into a meditation as normal i was meditating with a friend of mine and my mum um which is normal i do that weekly now we went in I was feeling quite tired actually. Um, I've been very busy. So my day has been scheduled by the half an hour from 7.30 in the morning through to 8.30 at night every day. So I've had no breaks. It's just been, I've been very scheduled. So I thought I might just take the time in this meditation to charge up, to get a healing, to be charged, to um, just let spirit take over and you know bring to me whatever they need to bring to me to give me the healing that I needed at this time so that's how I was feeling when I was going into the meditation so I found myself we went through the opening of the meditation um, then I saw a turtle swimming so I, I was I was seeing a very clear turtle swimming and I thought oh the turtles are symbolic that's the thing with meditation meditation gives you a lot of symbology so then you have to work out what the symbols mean so I will get back to what the turtle means because I think it's relevant towards the end. So I'll come back to the meaning of the turtle. Um, so I thought oh, I might just grab onto this turtle. Now, normally I wouldn't be so kind of lazy in a meditation. I would be more adventurous in a meditation. But I thought oh, I might just grab onto the back of this turtle and just let me let it pull me up the river. So it was it's swimming along the river and I'm just going with this, not moving, just being dragged up the river by this turtle. I'll get back to that about the turtle too. Um, it's not literal. Um, so it's just dragging me up the river and I'm thinking, you know, I'm just going to go with it. I just, I can't move. I'm just going to go with the flow of the water and I'm just going to, just going to go with it, you know, get, letting this turtle drag me up the river. Then I started feeling bad, kind of a sense of guilt washed over me. Like I felt bad for kind of doing that for, there was some sense of guilt that I felt there. And next minute, I'm the like the turtles kind of wash me to the side of the bank. So, meanwhile, I'm in a meditation. I'm thinking to myself, okay, I'm feeling really lethargic today. I feel like I just need a healing. I'm just going to go with wherever the meditation takes me. Um, I'm just going to let, you know, whatever happens, just allow it to fill my energy restore me balance me so I'm just going with whatever I'm not you know being very adventurous I'm just kind of going with the flow in this meditation so it just kind of um, moves me to the edge of the water to the edge of the bank of this water and I'm just laying there and I never do that I've never ever done that in a meditation in 30 years I've never just laid there and thought oh I'm just going to lay here and let spirit come to me I, if I've been in a river, I'll see myself getting out of the water, moving to the next stage, following a path, you know, moving, communicating with animals or, or people or whatever's in the meditation. I never just lay there on the side, on the edge of the water. But in my mind, not analysing at this point, I'm just thinking I'm just tired, I'm just going to go with it. Today I'm just going to lay here. Today I just feel tired and I just feel like I need to be recharged. So today I'm just going to lay here on the edge of this water and I'm going to let spirit come to me and they're going to heal me. So I'm going to let them come and heal me. So I'm just laying here on this water, just laying laying there waiting to see whatever comes to me. Um, next minute in the, in the vision, in the meditation, I'm seeing myself travel over land so because I remember distinctly analyzing within the meditation because I do that I do analyze as I go so I um I get the visions but I also try to think well I've got to remember this so I try to 
put them into the memory bank but also trying to analyze them as I go so this is all going so it's going at the same time so it's like the visualization and the anal analyzing at the same time so I'm thinking and what what I was analyzing was okay this is like a elements thing I'm being in the water I came through the air originally in the first part of the meditation then I ended up in the water and now I'm going on the land so it was like the earth so it was like okay where's the fire so that's that was my analytical mind going on while I was meditating think I'm going through the elements maybe that's restoring my energy so I'm saw myself being moved along the land so I don't know if that was by vehicle or by horse, but because I was very, I was drawn, I couldn't see myself at the time. I just knew that I was moving and I was moving on land. So, because I was thinking to myself, oh, I've gone from water, I'm now on earth. So I'm now moving, I'm moving through water, I'm moving through earth. And that was my thoughts at the time. So then I saw myself, I kind of came out of my body um, and started seeing the scene from not, from a, standpoint of me looking down on the scene so I was what and I knew it was me like I was watching myself from myself looking down rather than being in the picture itself so I was outside of my body and I'm watching myself and I could see somebody carrying me across their arms but to a doorway there was like I could see a crack of a doorway and there was like light behind the doorway and I, I'm watching in my meditation watching somebody carry me on their arms that's how just lethargic and just drained and just nothing I was I was laying across there I was just like laying across their arms as they're walking me towards a doorway that was like a little bit open and I'm thinking to myself oh I wonder what's behind these doors I'm thinking to myself I'm thinking analyzing in the within the meditation um maybe there's like a like a K crystal cave or something that I'm going to go sit in there because sometimes I do that when I need to heal and charge within a meditation I'll go into a crystal cave and I'll just charge up on on, on earth crystals so I'm thinking to myself oh I wonder what's behind this door you know I wonder if I'm going to be healed behind this door that's that was my thought thing wasn't moving again I was just watching myself just lethargic just so just laying there limp across someone's arms being walked through this doorway next minute I'm laid down flat on the ground just laid on the floor flat on the ground just flat flat and I'm thinking to myself um oh am I on a med bed so that was my thought my personal analytical thought within the meditation oh am i in a med bed getting healing and then i could hear myself saying to me in the meditation what is a med bed now that's really important so i'll come back to that as well um i know what a med bed is but i could hear myself saying to myself what's a med bed and anyway i'm just laying there and i'm and i'm laying there in my meditation thinking oh i must be like you know I couldn't see anything about the room. There was nothing that I could see. Um, and that's probably because I would have pictured like a crystal cave or something like that. So it wasn't giving me any kind of, otherwise I would have realised there that this didn't make sense. So it was just an empty room, but I'm just, I had my eyes closed and I'm just watching the, the shadows and the colours wash over me as I'm, it's like I'm looking up through, I could see blurry shapes and I could see two black figures two black and I and I'm thinking to myself okay there's two people above me because I could see the two black figures I'm seeing the colors of the healing or, or whatever I'm seeing within the meditation but I'm seeing two heads looking down on me like two black figures looking down on me so I'm thinking oh okay maybe there's spirit guides here to help heal me or something and that that was my thought now that I think about it I don't know if that was actually my thinking at the time or not but my thought was oh maybe they're here to heal maybe they're going to heal me like maybe they're healing me or they're here to heal me so then um i'm just laying there and and next minute i get a vision in the meditation of two swans now if you've watched my last video or two you'll know the connection that i've finally made after seven months of nicola and the swan so i didn't know okay in my reading i think two readings back i told the story about the dream that i had nicola came to me in my backyard as a swan um then when i started reading on her i hadn't read true crime before i really hadn't read online before and that's where it all started i started to get the urge to read started doing picker cards um and then the nicola bully she went missing and then I thought I might do a read and that was my first true crime read. Well, she attached herself to my swan card in my deck. So that's me as a swan in my personal deck. So I didn't make the, connect the connections at all. And I finally made the connection between her choosing the swan card in my deck and her, the swan dream. And then I started to think, 
I think that's Nicola. I think that's Nicola. And I made that connection there. But then I had people tell me that she had swans on her Facebook page. So that really did cement the um, the bond there, like cement the actual evidence of that's what that was. That was the connection and that was like the validation for me. I got the validation for that little puzzle piece came together with that. So um, when I saw the two swans in my meditation, first thing I thought of, of course, was Nicola. I thought, oh, that's Nicola's sign. So the vision that I was having where I was laying on the floor, that disappeared. That wasn't there anymore. I was now just looking at two swans. And so first thing I thought, oh, okay, that's Nicola. So now this is my first instant within this meditation of Nicola. I had no thought of her whatsoever in the past. Next minute, I'm sitting on a park bench with Nicola, clear as day. I can see every part of her. I'm very clearly talking to her. Um, I hugged her and I said, there's no need for you to feel lonely because I felt she felt lonely. And she had told me that in one of my card readings. She was feeling lonely, but knew she had to be strong at this time. So I hugged her and I said, you don't need to feel lonely at this time. There's so many people that care about you. There's so many people that um, want to help you. There's you've touched so many people so you don't need to feel lonely is what I said to her now we were having a conversation um, and it was in the general like you get the general gist you don't hear every single word in a conversation within a, a meditation you get a feeling and a sense and then you hear little words so it was a general sense of uh, we were talking about friends and being genuine is what we were talking about that was the general gist because like I hugged her and I connected to her and she could feel that I was genuinely cared about her and she could feel that genuineness and that, that caringness and that was the general conversation she was having back with me about friendships and genuine friendships and that was the gist now she didn't give me any names there I and it wasn't clear words that were coming out it was just gist of feelings and words coming through so generally about friendships and genuineness genuine feelings and also it was like and comparing she was comparing she didn't give me any names but she was um comparing within as we were sitting down having the conversation that's what it was about it was about those three words friendships genuineness and comparing um so yeah that's what that was so then i'm sitting there on the bench and i thought wow this is where it dawned on me within the meditation i'm still meditating i thought was that me laying on that riverbank just laying there was that me was that me laying on that floor with watching those two people above me? And I started to think, I think that's Nicola. I think I was just, and I've never had a meditation like that before where somebody has come in and taken over it completely like that. It's always been me being adventurous and getting healing and communicating with spirit guides and, you know, just restoring energy and that kind of thing. Um, I've never had a meditation like that where I've just surrendered completely and just gone with what they've given me because I didn't feel I didn't have the energy and I felt that's what I needed at the time. So that's where it dawned on me. And I thought, wow, that's I think that was Nicola. I think that was Nicola, that whole experience. It wasn't me. I'm telling you this today. I don't know if it's relevant. It was a very profound experience for me. Um, I don't, again, it was just a meditation. So I can't say that it's accurate. I can only tell you what I experienced. Now, it wasn't tainted in any way because I wasn't thinking, oh, this is Nicola, this is Nicola, as I was having the experience. And 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 the difference being is that once I it dawned to me when I was sitting on the park bench, then that's when I started thinking, okay, Nicola, I've got so many questions. There's so many things unanswered. You need to tell me, show, show me the picture of exactly how you died. Show, show me, was there somebody with you? Show me exactly. And, and I was just pumping her with questions at that time, as you would, because I dawned that's what was going on here. And the thing was, I didn't get one vision, one, a single vision once I was pumping her with questions then. It was like, it was it kind of would have been tainted or impure at the time I was getting the visions before they were not connected to her anyway I was not thinking I was just going with whatever thinking it was healing that I needed so they weren't tainted in any way whereas where I'm asking her oh tell me did somebody hold you under the water did you know did t show me was there somebody with you like and and I was like I guess going really hyper and like trying to get answers questions answered and it was like I got nothing. She gave me nothing. And it was like, 
but then I knew I wasn't, I was coming out of the meditation because when you're with meditating with other people, you're not in there unlimited, you come out at a certain time. So I said to her, I feel like I'm coming out very soon. So if there's anything you want to tell me, um, now's the time to tell me. But there was nothing. At that point, she said, it's like she'd given it to me already in an untainted way that it would have been, could have been tainted with my own thoughts if she'd given it to me, direct questions in that way. So anyway, I um, just wanted to share that experience with you. It could be relevant. It may not, but it was very, very profound for me. So it was it was such, the, the experience was amazing and the connection. And I also couldn't, it's like you can't believe, you know, in this big world, like to have such a connection like that, you know, like it's, I don't know, it was just an experience like, like an unbelievable experience. I couldn't like, that she's taken the time to come into my meditation and, and show me stuff like that and sit with me and talk with me. And it's just, it was, it was very profound anyway. Getting back to the turtle. Um, so when you're in meditation, meditation um, is very symbolic. So you get a lot of symbols, you get a lot of signs, and then you've got to later interpret them. So probably the most um, relevant sign there, I did get like the water and the earth, but I feel like she was just showing me where she was at the time. So water, earth. Um, now, the turtle was symbolic. So I have a turtle card in my deck and turtle card in my deck means support, your support system. Um, my friend said as soon as she heard the turtle, she said she got out of that, it's somebody that I know, somebody that I know is what she got, is the word she got out of the, I'm, I'm thinking because there was a few other little messages as well that came in there um from from them from the people I was meditating with which was my mum and my friend and then later my sister came in as well so she was getting that the turtle meant somebody I know I looked up the meaning of turtle and the one that resonated most with me out of the turtle meaning book was um you just need to be an observer so I, I feel like that's what I had to be and that's what I was being they didn't say that but the turtle symbolically meant at the beginning of the meditation for this meditation you just need to observe and that's what I was doing that's how I felt I had to be at that time so I was just kind of going with the flow literally like flowing through the water and just observing whatever was taking place at the time so I think that's what the the turtle meant was relevant in you just had to be an observer so I'll use that in future in meditations I'll know that that's what the turtle means to me um but it's funny that my friend said the turtle means somebody that you know because I'd done a reading only a couple of days before on Nicola and the card fell out somebody that I used to know now when you read cards you don't have to read every single um word on the cards so when I was reading it out I said somebody that I used to know because that was on the card and then when I edit it and put on the screen somebody that I know. Now, she didn't know that. She hadn't seen the video. Um, but then she had said after the meditation, turtle means somebody I know, which I had the card come out, somebody that I used to know, which I edited in the video to say somebody I know. Anyway, so lots of little validations there. I will do a reading now, stitch these together and post it up on Tuesday. So thank you. Okay, so a lot's happened over this last week. I recorded a video last Thursday morning. I had a meditation on the Wednesday, so and that was about Nicola. So I recorded that on Thursday morning. Well, Thursday night I had a dream. I'm just going to quickly run through the dream for you. I'll put this in another time chapter so you can jump ahead if you like. Um, so I had the dream on Thursday night and it was my friend that I've meditated with for many, many, many years. She passed away a few years back. Um, so when you meditate with someone for so long, you, I don't know, I think you get kind of like a soul bond or something. And anyway, I'm pretty sure she helps me with people on the other side. So in the dream, she came to me and we're sitting in a room and I'm sitting across from her talking to her. And the, there was a third person in the room, but I wasn't looking at them. I couldn't describe them. I just could recognize there was a third energy in the room. Um, but I never looked at them. I'm sitting directly across from my friend and I'm talking to her, which has passed away, as I mentioned. Um, and she said to me, I only have six months, is what she said. So I was a bit shocked. Um, so, yeah, so, okay, so I was a bit shocked when she said that. 
actually dreaming that she was still alive. It was like she was still alive here on earth and she was telling me she only had six months. Now, she didn't say six months to live, but that's how I took it. She said, I only have six months is what she said. Now, then she started to, her face started to morph um, and she was a, a bit of a heavier woman in real life. But in my dream, her face started morphing and her chin area and jawline started getting slimmer and I said to her oh you're getting a pointy chin like me so I said do you want me to take your photo um now because I mean a lot of people want I'm a photographer so when a lot of people they'll go on some weight loss journey and then they want their photos taken so I just happened to ask just out of a natural habit of being a photographer for 25 years I said oh do you want me to take your photo and she said no no she was very very clear about no, you're not taking my photo now. So anyway, I woke up out of the dream. I messaged my um, my mum and my sister because they're both um, mums are psychic. My sister's um, gifted and very good with dreams. So I just asked them because, of course, I was freaking out thinking maybe I've got six months to live or somebody around me has got six months to live. Now, no, she didn't say six months to live. She said, I've got six months. Um, so I've, I said I passed that message on and they came back to me and said, um, do you think that it's, it's Nicola they're talking about, that she's only got six months? What were you doing that day? And I said, well, I uploaded a video or done a video where I said, spoke about Nicola, and I said that one day, because I always connect in, as you know, I connect in with her first, I won't read unless I've got a connection. I always ask permission to read. Um, and I said that one day she's going to say no to me. She's going to either say the doors are closed um, because she's moving on is what I said. Well, it was that night that I had the dream and the face started morphing and I believe she, my friend on the other side was morphing into my friend Nicola um, in a metaphorical kind of way. So especially after that, um, that meditation that I had. So it was trying to put those two connections together and she said, I only have six months. So what... Um, with the help of my mum and my sister, we've worked out that she's saying she only has six more months before she has to move on. So she must have that amount of time to try and get things sorted out here on earth or get people to help her or whatever she's trying to do. Um, I did feel, though, because I thought the last reading I was going to do on her was the, the inquest I did the inquest reading so I did that about a week or so before the inquest results came out and I thought that was going to be my last reading on her. After that inquest came out, the energy and the persistence and the persistence is the wrong word but the motivation and determination of Nicola's energy to come through amplified and and I was thinking about that yesterday and I thought well if for for example if it was murder and it was done by a complete stranger Yep, you would be giving out clues and trying to get people to help so this person doesn't do it again to another person. You would be trying to help. Now, you think about it yourself. If it was somebody you knew had done this behind your back, schemed and done this behind your back, how would you take that? Would, you, would that make you more determined to make them pay for it, make you more determined to... make them accountable for their actions so anyway that's what i was just thinking I, I i just had that feeling that her energy just amplified after the inquest it was like no nah, they're not getting away with this they're not getting away with this and the amplified the energy just amplified i found anyway so i've ever since that inquest i've been getting dream visits meditation visits as well as the connection readings as well and i'm quite sure it's going on with lots of other intuitives as well. They're getting these messages through a lot clearer from her. I feel like, and I guess with this timeline that she's given me of six months, she's got six months to try and get this message through. I feel like that kind of makes a little bit more sense to me. The other thing I just wanted to quickly talk about is when I'm reading, as I go deeper into the readings, I start to lose logic. So especially when I rewatch a video, I think, why didn't I say that? Look at those two cards together. Why didn't I say that? And it's like you lose that logical part of you. The deeper you go into intuition, 
well, me personally, I lose that logical side of me. So I think on that last reading, at that last reading was very, very important. It was the reading called Paul, and I called that reading Paul because that was the initials that Nicola pulled out of my medium deck to read on Paul that day. Um, so that 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 reading was very important, and I feel like when I'm putting both the meditation that I had with that last reading that I did, and I did that reading on the Monday prior to the meditation being the Wednesday. So it was a very big week last week for me with Nicola's energy. So it was the Monday read that I did. Then I did the Wednesday meditation with her. Then I did the Thursday morning video recording of the meditation. Then the Thursday night dream. So I had a very big, big week with Nicola's energy last week. Um, anyway, I think putting both the meditation and that last reading together, because she's in every, I notice if you go back through my readings, always a vehicle card comes out. There's always been a vehicle card, always been a tied down card. My, I, I would say without fail, most of these readings have had the vehicle card, but most definitely the tied down card has come out. So there's got to be something in that. You, out of 100 cards in a deck, the, to have every single read I do on Nicola have the tied down card come out, there's got to be something in that. Uh, I mean, that's just a logical Point of view so putting the two together she seemed to go a little bit further into the story about the vehicle this time about the car so usually she just gives me the car but I feel like I it's like I look at it from an outside point of view and she's starting to zoom me into little aspects of it more like to get more detail on little parts of the story or little aspects of it so anyway with this car she started giving me it's like she was saying that she herself moved away from the river and at that time she was conscious so that's the feeling i get with the with the meditation that i had i feel i feel it i feel on a like a logical point of view before i go in and do the read i feel she was attacked at the river i feel where she, i feel that's where she was attacked i feel either beforehand or at the river, I feel that's where she was attacked. I, uh, hang on, I'm, I'm not sure, Sam. Now I'm doing it from a logical. It's not an intu not an intuition reading, but you know, I'm not in deep yet or anything, and I'm not definitely not connected. But I'm just going at it from a trying to put the pieces two together. Now that's the other thing. I am an intuitive. I'm not a true crime sleuth. I know a lot of you are, are true crime sleuths. You get your information from all over the internet, and you piece the puzzle together yourself. And that's great. That's that's your role in this. I that's not my role. I am that's not what I do, and it's not what I've always done. What I I'm an intuitive, intuitive, and my part is to give you a piece of the puzzle, and then your part is to put that piece of the puzzle together. So I think it doesn't matter if I'm logical or I'm not logical because that's not what my role is. My role is just to show you what she's showing me, and you to see how that fits. So anyway, I feel like there is a connection. I feel like somehow she was conscious when she left the water. Now, the other thing I was actually thinking, thinking, being logical, is that maybe she went with somebody thinking they were going to help her, protect her, because a protection card comes out all the time. So maybe, maybe she had been attacked and she got in the car of somebody that she knew thinking they were going to help her, rescue her, save her, help her, like protect her in some way or protect her. Maybe, maybe who knows, maybe the attack hadn't happened at that time. Maybe there was just that threat of the attack or like I did say, she always knew she felt somebody was there so watching her or somebody was watching her. So maybe she was fearful and maybe that's what the protection card is. She went with somebody thinking they were going to protect her um, because what I saw is that she con she told me she was conscious when she left the river. It wasn't when I asked did they take a body away. She said no, it didn't. They didn't take the body away. She did herself, and that's what happened in the dream. Somebody, she was conscious when somebody left her. She wasn't because when I said body, I thought she'd already passed. She was already had died or drowned, and somebody had moved the body. And she was saying no, that's not the case. So it, it seems to be that she'd either had been attacked or fearful of being attacked. She was alive at that point, and she went with somebody for perhaps for protection, perhaps for healing because in my meditation it was I went with them thinking I was going to get healing. Um, also very important was 
Now, when I've visualised them going through a doorway, I don't know where that doorway was. I don't know if that doorway was her home, if it was a um, one of those buildings that was close by to the river, but I just saw, or if it was like a storm, that storm water drain that people are talking about. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know. I'm just saying I saw a doorway, like a little skinny opening, that they and I, and I saw them carrying her through, so carrying her through this doorway. So perhaps I don't know if she was gone at that time. I don't know or if she was just in need of healing because that's what I was in the meditation. I was just needing healing and I could see two figures. So I could see two dark figures above me. So when, when you're in meditation, you don't, sometimes you don't see the faces. Sometimes you do. Sometimes like I did with Nicola, it was crystal clear like I was sitting and talking to her. But sometimes you're just seeing spirit figures above you. So and that's what I was seeing. It was two dark figures above her and two of them two dark ones above her looking down on us so yeah so anyway I not sure how that fits but I feel like yeah I feel like she had she was a conscious when she had left the river and perhaps she went for healing or protection and then she was taken into this room and and from there like just laid flat on the floor and that's kind of the end of what I saw of her body what I what I saw of her because then I switched over to talk to her. So whether or not she'd passed in that time, or I don't know. I'm not. I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure if it was to move her to try and get her back to life or to protect her. I don't know. But anyway, the, those are the cards that keep coming up, and that's why I just wanted to talk about this other logical thing to try and piece those two together because I feel like the meditation and the last reading were very important. But also, I wanted to just recognise that those cards have tied down the attack. Um, the vehicle card, the caution card, the protection card, they come out every single reading. So anyway, I'll be back soon. I'm going to get um, deeper and then I'll try and connect in and I'll be back with if I can get a connection here. Just also want to say that I know some of the readings have been a little short or cut short in the last couple of weeks. Sometimes I'd love to read for hours and I really would love to read, especially when you start getting into that zone. But I get migraines so and if I go too deep for too long I do end up with a migraine but what I found in the last couple of weeks I haven't had a migraine and it's been I think because my spirit team has been pulling me out of it <clears throat> before I get to that stage so uh, unfortunately I'm sorry I know that sometimes it ends quickly sometimes like a battery will go flat or somebody will knock on my door or something will happen or I'll just completely lose a connection that I feel like is for my own safety and my own well-being so I do apologize for that but I feel like that's important to keep me healthy and not have to suffer the consequences of being too deep too long but anyway I'm going to see if I can get a connection and then we're going to go in deeper and start this reading Okay, so first of all, I'm just tapping in here to see if I can get a connection to Nicola, please. I'm now look, looking out of my connections deck. This is my connections deck. Used for mediumship. Also gives me letters as well. Letters as we used last week in the poor reading. Okay, um, so ask me to walk away. I'm just going to pop out for a minute, grab some water, um, just so I don't get a headache, and I will be back. So I've just asked the cards if I have a connection, if I'm okay to read. What it's saying is, yes, I'm okay to receive. Ours to me mean uh, messages from the other side, but it's saying, yes, it's time to fly. So yes, that is also indicating connection. This is a card here of the other side. This is my card when somebody on the other side is waiting to come through to give me messages. Um, and it's saying I'm open to receive and here we're saying yes this is a sun card so a sun indicates yes to me so you're saying yes we have permission to read on this and we have a connection here right now so I'll just pack these cards away and um, I'm going to start with my connections deck and just see if there's anything in there that Nicola wants to say before we get started with the crime deck okay so I'm just connecting and just seeing if there's anything that Nicola you want to say or is there a message from Nicola, please, from this deck here? Swans, that's Nicola. Um, talking about the battles that was going on around her. Um, 
also saying um, someone's sweet, kind and loving melts their heart. That's the message that she's saying. Okay, um, she says she wants to spend more time with you, so I feel like she, okay, this is either related to how I had the dream where it said that she's only got six months, so only six months left to try and get this sorted, or it's saying that she wants to spend a bit more time with me today. So hopefully we can do a longer reading today with Nicola. Thank you. Okay, any other messages that you want to bring through or is there any initials that you'd like to bring through from this card? Also, just let you know, we've got the A card again that we had last week, the A card. Okay. Okay, and I gave this card here an E. How about this? That's a little interesting. This is an E. We've got an E and an A. Okay, when I made this card, I probably should have, I didn't think at the time because at the time when I created this deck, I hadn't made the connection yet with Nicola and the swans. So I knew that she attached herself to my swan card in my other deck, which was me as a swan on a river. I knew she'd connected to that deck, but I hadn't yet connected that the dream that I had was about Nicola. So I, if I'd realised, I would have put an N on that card, but I didn't. I put an E, so that's really strange, so... Now I'm not sure if she's talking about the E person with the E initials, but I feel like at that point I'm going to just put it back in just to see now that I'm asking. I'm going to put this letter one back in as well. I'm just going to ask her if there's any person that she wants to talk about. So I, I know we'll need the initials, so the letter of their name. Pretty amazing. That's an R. In the letters we got last week, R was one of the letters. We didn't focus on the R person, but she's saying she wants to focus on the R person this week. Okay, that's interesting. And that's related to a lot of the questions as well. Okay, there's, that's the number three, so it could be saying there could be three people with the letter R, so I think she wants me to um, to work out which one, which one it is that we're talking about. Okay, I'm not sure which deck I'm going to be able to do that with. Okay, let's narrow down the sex of the person. Are they male or female? So the person starting with the R that you want to talk about, is this a male or a female, please? The band card. <laughs> okay, this person that starts with an R that you want to talk about today, is that a male or a female, please? P. That's the P again. We know who the P is. Um, and the card here is about home and resilience. So we'll keep going with that to see if they're a male or a female. The person that you want to talk about that starts with an R, is that a male or a female, please? Okay. So we've got a female card here, female energy, under the R, which is this one here. Put that over here. That's the R. The R person. Uh, what would you like to tell me about the R person, please? What would you like to tell me about the person's name that starts with an R? There's a connection. That's a connection card. I know it's. I know it says passion, physical connection. The thing with oracle cards is that you don't read every word on a card you're just drawn to which one it is or which part of the image means the most first thing I was drawn to was a connection so it's saying this person's connected maybe they have connections 
baffles me. It blows me away how they work like this. And then just to just to make sure we got the message, it says connection. So just to make sure that I read that last card correctly, connection. We're looking at the connection that this person has in. Um, okay. We'll just say this person, let's bring out the triumph cards. I think we're ready to go. I think we're going in nice and deep here and we're starting to get a really good connection. Um, so let's go to the crime deck. <clears throat> This is my crime deck. Okay. Right. Okay, we're talking about an R person and we're saying that they've got a connection. Are you saying that they're connected to the actual crime, please? Is the person starting with an R connected to the actual crime, please, Nicola? many cards for me to read but I'll just have a little quick look um, okay Okay, there's too many cards to read. When a bunch falls out, it usually means that one of them is correct um, and some of them are just falling out with it. But I'll just run through quickly um, and to see because I asked how this person's connected, were they connected to the actual crime? It says accident. This is the accident card. It says that they um, unknown knowledge, so unknown knowledge. Then it said unaware or oblivious, so unaware or oblivious. Um, there was factions at war and um, check the timing. That could also be the Fitbit, so around the Fitbit. So it could just be one of those cards is important. It could also be indicating that they weren't actually part of the actual crime itself, like the crime, the physical crime or the actual physical death, I should say. I shouldn't be calling it a crime. I should be saying the death. So they weren't actually part of the death. I feel like that's what you're trying to say in my correct there. tied down i spoke about this at the start of the video this card comes out without fail in every single reading okay what's this person read what's this person connected to the tying down part please what's this person connected to the tying down part um the strategy and the planning the strategy and the planning and this is about opportunities, creating opportunities. So creating opportunities. So this person is connected to like more of the strategy or the planning, creating the opportunities or taking advantage of opportunities as they come along. But also I said the tied down card as well. I should have left that card out to put on the spread for you to see that we're talking about R right now. Is there anything else you can tell me about this R person, please? Anything else you can tell me about the R person? Our person, okay, okay, the R person is to do with the battles, or oh, this is two people. Our person is an accomplice. That's an important one. We'll leave that one over there. Okay, I just want to validate too if it is a male or female because I'm not I'm not 100 certain on that on that outcome there. Um, and this person here is about a. The, the devil, the devil energy. So that's that devil energy that kept coming out last week. And this one here is about battle. So maybe they were somehow, the person with the R name is connected somehow to the battles or the fighting. Is that the case, please? Is the person with the R name connected to the battles or the fighting? Okay, I'm getting doubts going on here as well. Okay, can you're going to need to make it clearer, please. This R person... Can you give me more information on the R person, please? Doors closed, locked. So doors closed, locked can either be, <clears throat> can't get any information out of, on that person. They don't have any more information to give on that person. They can't tell me anymore. I, um, it's not something I should be looking into. Can also be um, the persons related to what went on behind closed doors, 
or that they're closing the doors on this. They've closed the doors on this. They've been responsible for closing the doors on this. Can you um, validate that, please? Can you validate any one of those answers, please? Okay, we kept getting the um, the planning card there as well, and this is the ringmaster. So this one's ringmaster talks of somebody orchestrating something, or being the ringmaster, the, maybe the brains behind the operation, party substance. One of the card, one of the questions that came out was about. <clears throat> Was she given something that maybe took the eight days to pass through her body or they had to wait? That's why the body wasn't found or was stored because they had to get something out of a system. Because we've got the party substance and also in the reading last week, it said something, it said the evidence, it talked about evidence and the Fitbit and the party substance, the either being drugged or alcohol. Um, and the card next to that said, not involved so that could indicate okay what i'm battling with right now is if you're saying alcohol party substances drugs was not involved why do you keep pulling the card out why is the card keep coming out if it's not involved in the situation at all is it to do with like a cover-up saying like a cover-up somehow to say there was no drugs or alcohol involved or it's like there was but it had to take the eight days or three weeks or whatever it was sorry i'm starting to go in now um it was taking that time to get that out of the body i don't know how that works let me get a clearer picture on this please be clearer okay we're talking about an r person now and we seem to be want to bringing it back to um where you told me evidence before not involved that could mean that it wasn't involved they're saying it was or that it was involved but they're hiding that information and that is applying to both the fitbit and the party stuff substance and i'm only getting that because of the cards that came out last week please give me more information or more validation on this please Okay, you're also saying that this person was an accomplice. So how was this person an accomplice, please? How did this how was this person involved in this? To what level? Um it says my fault. I just had to show you what that card was. Okay, how was oh okay. <laughs> I said, how is this person involved? And I said, it's my fault. It was my fault. So could she be saying that it was their fault? Okay. Are you able to tell me, I don't know if this is going to work. Are you able to tell me, is this our person, any of the names that I've read in the comments, please? Is this our person? So the names that I've read through, see if you can tap in and see what names I've read. Let me see if I can bring them up on screen to make it easier. I'm not going to bring them on. I'm going to bring them on my screen. You said is the R and C her children? So I wonder if that's their initials. I'm, I don't know. Anyway, um, okay. I've got the names in my mind of the ones that I've read that you're saying. Was it? Is the person that you're talking about with the R? Is it any of these people that have been named on my comments, please? somebody that's involved in strategic strategy and planning so we've had that out twice so i'll put it over there because they're saying this r person um, has been involved in like the strategy part of it the planning part of it okay see so you still haven't answered my question here i need the i need the question answered about maybe they can't do that maybe because i haven't never tried that before Okay, the names that I've just read. Okay, just want you. To, I just want to show you. This is the accident card. 
and this is the Fitbit or the Check the Timing card. The sense that I'm getting out of this is um, this person that she wants to talk about, and I'm not saying if they to what level they are involved even though the cards has come out and said connected twice and accomplice they're part of the strategy and planning like almost like the orchestrator ringmaster type energy here saying check the timing and then we have the accident card now the accident cards fell out twice so far and i feel like this person could have been like the orchestrator of making it look like an accident that's kind of the energy that I'm feeling here. This person is, this person is like responsible for making it look a certain way, making making the crime scene look like it was an accident. Because look, the accident card came out twice, so I have to tell you, um, it's saying, but it's about checking the timing. So. <clears throat> Now, I've also started to connect the check the timing to the Fitbit. So let me just tap into this check the timing card. Was Has the timing been orchestrated? Has the timing of this been orchestrated, please? Um, I've got the card of confrontation. Okay, so somehow the timing is either... What I'm feeling here is when we talk about timing and confrontation and check the timing or something being orchestrated, it's almost like it wants to not allow for this part of the story. So the confrontation part, the confrontation part would be the part where she would have got the bruises from. Um, and it's like somebody, uh, the cover-up card doesn't come out, so there is a card in there, so I can't say that. Um, but I, I'm feeling like they're orchestrating the situation or manipulating the situation to look like an accident to cover up, even though I can't say cover up because it hasn't come out, to make it look like there was no confrontation. That feels like I've said that right. So just validating that, please. Um, this is the split mind card. It's a split mind. Also, it's like it's in the pair. It's the pair to the ringmaster, and the ringmaster's already out. So that's the pair to that one. Okay, I'm I'm off track. Gone off track here. The track, the connection to that track is gone. Okay, hopefully there's some piece we can put together with that little part. But, yeah, that, that little trail just went cold there. So let's go in and ask another one. Maybe let's have a look at the C because she's told us the C in the last reading in the Paul video and she came out with the letter C. So let's try and see if we can tap in to see who this C person is. I'm just going to take the R cards away because that's the energy of the R person and who the R person is that she wants to talk about. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to go over to my medium deck and I'm just going to pull a couple of cards there to see if there's something she wants to tell me out of that deck related to the letter, the initial C that she gave me last week, please. So really so far this reading looks to be like a continuation of the last reading. Um, children fell out, just thought I'd let you know. Children fell out. Um, okay. <clears throat> Right now I'm not feeling a strong connection to tap into that C energy. What I'm feeling drawn to tap into now is, 
where I saw two um, dark two figures, so two figures at her at the time. So I'm feeling drawn to go into that area. Is there something you can tell me? First of all, I'm going to use the medium cards just to see if we can either get like, is it male, female? Is it two males? Um, is there initials you can give me there? I'm really just tapping into that moment where I'm, I'm seeing two, two, two figures with me and that's close to the moment of death. So either after death or at the moment of death, I'm seeing like the two figures. That was based on the meditation. So now I'm tapping back into that energy. Can you give me more information, please, on those two figures? Are they male or female? Can you give me some initials, please? Do you know who they are? Writing it to here, please. Okay. So that car there, at that time, that's kind of like what I saw. They put her into a room where she was secluded away from other people. Now I'm getting, there's a male and a female card here, but I, I really want more, I want more clarification on that, please. I really need a clear answer. Is it a male and a female, please? Are you talking about a male and a female that was with you in those moments? Okay, part again that come out where I showed you male, female in the last read, the deep, deeply hurt. So she was deeply hurt either at that time time she was deep. Right above it says um, it's a, that caring, nurturing energy. Um, but I'm, I'm wondering if that's now validating the female energy there. So was there a male and a female energy? Just want to bring your attention over to the breaking free card to breaking free, especially since we always have the um, the tied down ones as well. Okay, let's go deeper, please. Go deeper on this reading. Is there something you can tell me about the two figures? I'm, I'm going to go to the crime deck actually. So first of all, I just want to validate on that meditation, please, where I saw two figures. Was I seeing the right thing? Was I seeing, can you, I'm after some clarification on that, please. Um, where I saw the two figures in the meditation that you showed me, there was two figures above me. Can you please clarify that? Authority. Just have to tell you. Authority can indicate someone with great power, can indicate like police, teachers, people with people in power. Authority card. Okay, anything else you can tell me about those figures, please? Missing piece. So it's like a piece of the puzzle that hasn't been that yet or hasn't been exposed <laughs> um it's like a piece of the puzzle that's been hidden so it doesn't get exposed okay so if i'm looking at this from a different point of view as in i didn't ask the question can you confirm for me? Okay, creative narrative. So that's what I'm getting at now. If I'm, that is where I'm going. So if I'm looking at this, like I didn't say, this is a meditation I had where I saw two figures. Is that connected? What can you give me more information on? If I'm looking at this from a perspective of you've given me these cards that say somehow somebody in position of power or authority is either not wanting to be exposed 
and they're the missing puzzle piece. So they're a missing piece of the puzzle that's been hidden so then it's not exposed. So can you give me more information on that, please? More information on that aspect, please. So basically what I'm saying is there's somebody, somebody with authority that's involved in this somehow that doesn't want to get exposed or doesn't want to expose secrets. Okay, um, that's the card of the family home or the... Okay, so not wanting to expo expose the information surrounding what was going on with the family home or inside this home because I don't know. That was the other question that I had. When I saw the building she went into, was that her family home? Was that a home or another building? So I think I have to go there next. But I'm saying... Okay, we've got two matching cards here again as well. This one here matches the card that's up the top here, which is this one here, exposing the secrets. So exposing secrets has already out, so it can't come out again because I didn't put it back. But you're giving me the matching card like you did before when you said like somebody was an orchestrator or somebody was the ringmaster. Card was already on the table, so you couldn't bring it out again, but you did give me the pair to that card to indicate again that, that was the answer again. So that's what I'm feeling like is going on right now with that one there. I feel like it's saying it's all about not exposing secrets or trying to hide some kind of secret. Now, this, the hiding of the secret could be related to the house, could be related to, like, the money around the house or something that was going on inside the house or with the financials of the house or, you know, dividing assets or, or something somehow it's saying that they're trying to not expose secrets that was going on that was related to the house now the house could also be the family home or it could also be like a building that she was taken to like a home or a building she was taken to so now i reverted back and right around looped right around to that after covering that i think it's time to go back to that question because it's just we straight back around to it okay so where you showed me that you were going in through a doorway, please, how are we going to um, clarify this? Um, I'm not sure. I'm just, what's going on here now in my head is that I'm not sure what cards I've got that can indicate between the different buildings. And I don't have my very old personalised deck here either. Um, you know, because we read on the Marsh Farm and it has its own card. There's like an old abandoned building in the area and then there's also the family home. So that's kind of the three three homes that I'm looking at. Log buildings could also be the water tunnel. Um, that's kind of like three structures that I'm talking about when I say that her body was put there. That was another question somebody else had also was, was her body stored somewhere it, over that time, please? And that's where I'm going now. So I saw it being, I saw her being moved and placed somewhere and somebody asked me if she was stored somewhere. So that's where we're going Okay, what's her body stored? Yeah, well. Okay, just got to um, quickly, uh, in answer that came out, a lot of cards came out again. When a lot of cards come out, it means that sometimes it's just the one card that was meant to come out, but a bunch of others fell out. But I need to tell you what they are anyway. So somebody is guilty of that. So somebody is guilty of maybe storing her. Um, and I think that makes them an accomplice. So whether they committed a crime or not, if they move a body and store it somewhere, and I, that makes them an accomplice. So somebody is guilty of that. Um, here it's saying unseen. So unseen's coming up to it again so maybe this person was cloaked had their face covered or she didn't see them clearly she couldn't see their face clearly now when i had um the meditation okay i'm going to try something here i'm going to try something here when i had the meditation i couldn't see their faces clearly either it was just like darkish shadows okay what i'm trying to get her to do now is step outside of the scene and look at it from a spiritual being point of view. So what I'm saying is if you're facing it from that 
point of being in the body looking at it you can't see their faces i can see that i understand that but now i'm asking you to look at it from a spiritual point of view outside of the scene looking down do you recognize any of these people do you recognize any of these people that are that are with you that are near you now also had to um let you know about when we said body stored the party substances come out again which indicates uh, drugs and alcohol so could have been stored maybe to get um I'm not sure how that works, but anyway, let's come up again, second time today. Okay, now we're going to see, we're going to see if we can step outside of the scene, because you're saying you're unaware, you can't see them, and I can understand that. I uh, I couldn't tell who they were either. To me, it was just dark, blurry, blurry, dark figures. So, and you're saying you can't see for some reason. So now step outside of it from a spiritual point of view and look back down on the scene and tell me if you recognise any of these people, please. Do you recognise any of these people? <laughs> still hidden, still blindfolded. See, see that? Still, still blindfolded. Are they hidden? Have they got something over their face? Um, it is the accomplice. We're talking about the accomplice and we're seeing two people in this figure. So two people in this in this card. Um, and this is at the end of the situation. This is at the end of this is my card to say um, it's at the moment of death or the end of situate at the end of the situation. Um, here is the split mind, split mind mental illness. Okay. Do you feel like you know these people? Do you feel like you know these people? Again, we've got the two people and it's about the battles, about the battles and the fighting and more information, so more information. So I feel like <clears throat> now I'm feeling like these people are connected to the battles or the fight, the battles that you had. So let's go back to the battle. Let's go back to the, obviously you got bruises somehow. So, and I'm not going to ask you how because I know there's battle cards coming up right through here. So do you, do you know, do you know these people that, do you know the people, um, and that was why you were walking, that was happening, that happened when you were walking and that and that was the battle, so battles when you were walking. That was my other question that I had at the start of the video was something to do with I feel like maybe she was attacked or had some kind of fight at the river, um, maybe, maybe she was left there and then they went back and got her, moved her, stored her, brought her back after the search had happened. Um, I'm sorry, something going on with my voice. Um, I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Um, but that's what I'm getting out of those two cards is that there was a fight that occurred at the time she was walking, whether or not they came back, that they left her there, then they came back for her to clean it up or something, cover it up. Am I on the right track there, please? Because I can't even remember now what the questions, I'm going deeper, so I can't remember what the questions were. So let's go deeper here, let's go deeper here. Is so that what's happened? Is Was there a battle? that took place and then you were left and then somebody came back, not involved, so not involved, someone that was not involved. Cover up, that's what I just said, um, come back to cover up. Okay, so somebody, what I'm getting out of that, somebody that wasn't involved in the battle or the fight came back to cover it up. So they may have been with the person that was involved. Am I getting that or somebody came back in to cover it up? Um, and how am, I, how am I going there? Am I on track with that? Did the person that you had the fight with or were, had the confrontation, I think we're calling it confrontational battles, you had the confrontation and battles, did that person actually come back as well? Were they with them? Did, oh. Okay, I, I was sensing... Okay, I'm just going to go through that one again. Um, the accomplice, that was the accomplice that came back. So accomplice, accomplice, like I just said a minute ago, when the accomplice card comes out, accomplice could be um, they're an accomplice because they changed the crime scene or and that makes them an accomplice. So and here is the um, lover's card. Just have to let you know that and that's the two people. So that's the two people. Um, I don't feel like it's a lover's thing here. I'm getting the two people out of that. So what I'm getting here that the person, how I'm feeling about this situation is that the person that was involved in the chaos, turmoil, battles, confrontation, bruising was not the person that came back to clean that up. Am I correct in saying that? Please validate that. Am I correct?
Okay. Um, okay, what I'm getting out of that is that there's more than one. So this is a card of more than one. So that is telling me that there was two people that came back and I saw the two people, like I, I saw the two people in the meditation. Two people came back. I don't feel like they're connected to the person. Okay, but they're an accomplice because they maybe they then went to somebody else and said, help me with this, I need to cover the situation up or somehow help me because remember the cover up card just the cover up card came out so maybe that person has then come in to clean it up or store the body or try and help her or or something because in the meditation I'm like okay I'm just laying there and I'm like okay I'm going to go with this person because this person might be trying to heal me or trying to protect me so and that was the false pretenses that I was getting in that reading like the lord card now this is i feel like pieces are coming together so it's like i feel like um where the cards are i keep hearing the lord in the readings and it's like i'm lord under false pretenses i feel those false pretenses to be i think they're going to help me or i think they're going to protect me so they're coming back in now i've got to ask did she know them um and here's the water card. So whatever question I was, I'm gone now. I can't go back on logic. So I don't know where the questions were there, but it's saying it was related to the water. This is my water card. Um, this is the card of suspicious minds and about the phone. So something went on about the phone. So we're talking accomplice, we're talking to people. Maybe they did something with the phone. Maybe this, they're, they're, they're like, um, I'm coming back to that first part of the reading, the R name, where we did something about um, making the crime scene look like an accident. So now we're looking at a phone. So now we're saying this person came in and either moved the phone or did something with the phone. This is just what I'm picking up off each individual card. I'll ask for a validation and that's her walking. That's her walking. Okay, so walking. Um, please validate if I'm... If I'm on the right track and take me a little further down this track please okay am i on the right track by saying that somebody came in then under false pretenses and lured her either to a vehicle or to another place and that was she was thinking she was going to get healed or protected am i correct please am i correct is that what was going on did you think this person was going to help you Okay, again, Suspicious Minds and the phone card. Suspicious Minds and the phone card. Did somebody try to call somebody? Did somebody call somebody? Okay, if somebody calls somebody, then there's a phone record. Okay. <laughs> that's locked behind closed doors. That information is locked behind closed doors. Not being released. We can't get to it. It's not going to be released. That's one of the things that's been locked up behind closed doors. Thank you. Okay, so am I under understanding? Do you know the person that came in to help? you that you felt like they were there to help or protect you or heal you did you know them please did you know that person or people okay a couple of cards come out um two people you just validated where i said person I was just validating i picked up on that myself but it was just telling me also two people um judgment card and results or getting results or an opportunity I'm not sure about if that one meant to come out or if it would just come out with the um two people just to just to make me rephrase that okay implications so implications come in when somebody's implicated in something okay here is the nicola card here is and i'm i'm lost i don't remember cover up so i feel like they came in to cover it up so they came in to cover up this was Nicola, they came and <clears throat> something about, I said, did you know the people that came in to help you or protect you? Um, here's two people again, their way of telling me two people card came out, came, they came in to cover it up. 
Okay. Um, yes. There's my answer to yes. That's my yes card. So yes. It's like they were passing through. This is a passing through card. So it's like they were passing through. She thought they were passing through. And here's her sick and unwell. She's a sick and unwell. Um, at this point, I think she'd already been attacked by this point. The person that attacked her, this is what I'm feeling, and I'm going to ask for validation on it. So what I'm feeling is that you had already been attacked. Um, the person left you there, and then they went back and maybe spoke to somebody else that came and covered it up, I sent somebody else there, passed through and, and covered the situation up. Am I on the right track there, please? Um, okay, it's similar. They're saying not quite. Um, I'm on the wrong. I'm on the wrong track there. It's not quite like that. It's similar to that. This is a card of being similar. It's a copycat or similar. So it's saying it's not quite what I just said. It's similar to that, but not quite. Um, here's the hanged man. Delays or suspension. There might have been. Okay, there might have been delays to it. So maybe it didn't happen the way I'm saying it. Like the confrontation took place. Um, she was injured maybe. Obviously there was bruising around her. I don't know if she was drugged or not. I don't know. Maybe that's why they had to let her get, come out of the system. But something has made her not fully able to get up herself and go for help herself or go that somebody had to come back for her. But I also am feeling like she may have been alive at that time. I don't feel like she has gone at that time like that's kind of what i'm getting now this one here is delays and suspensions it also could be the hanging tree see the hang the hanging tree to where she was found so um but i think where she said it didn't happen the way it wasn't exactly like what i said it was similar maybe it was a bit slower than that it was slower like it there was it didn't happen immediately like oh and i just should show you on the bottom of that deck was a confrontation card on the bottom of the deck okay i'm not sure how much longer i've got left i'm sorry um okay let's just see if there was I feel like I've got, I feel like I could ask one more question and so I'm thinking about doing the lives for these because when I get to this state, I, I've got no logic to think back and if I had somebody there asking me the questions, then I could just answer the questions. Um, but I, anyway, I think, I feel like I've only got one question left in me and then one question for what Nicola wants to talk about. So the that we're talking about the missing puzzle piece now. Okay, let's come back to the missing puzzle piece. The missing puzzle piece we talk about was an accomplice. Okay, that is a puzzle piece that has not been spoken about before that somebody came in to cover up, made it, make it look like an accident. Okay, so anything else you can tell me on that situation, please? Is there something else you can tell me around that situation? Being that there was an accomplice that came in to make it look like an accident. Um, more information. So there's, there is more to that situation. There's more information on that one. And that's what I'm asking for. More information, please, on around that situation. <coughs> I'm not, I'm not certain how much more information she can give me on, on that, that one. That's what I'm feeling. Yes, cover up. I don't think you can be any clearer than that. You cannot be any clearer than that. Yes, cover up. I feel like I don't even need to go through these cards because that was a direct answer. This is my um, resilience card, like the moment of death, um, hanging, hanging in there, being resilient, but it's also like feels to me like the moment of death. This card here is the suspect motives, the card of who's got motives, who's a suspect, um, the suspect motive cards. Um, I do feel like I'm fading. So, uh, and this one here is about the emperor. Um, emperor is like 
a leader figure, like a leader figure. I know we've had, it's not the authority card, it's the emperor type figure. So like the, okay, what I'm getting out of the leader type figure is it's the person that comes in with the answers, the person that comes in um, with a presence of um, calmness and control, comes in and, and either delegates I'm pulling in the energy of the emperor from the tarot now. So it's like almost like this person's energy comes in and, okay, this needs to be done, this needs to be done, this needs to be done. And it's like this person just has an aura of um, being in control, knowing what to do, knowing how to make a situation look a certain way. And that's kind of the energy that I'm pulling in on that person. Okay, so first of all, now last question, I just want to see, I um, just want to thank thank all the energies that come through um thank nicola for coming through just want to on this last question is there anything else that you just want to say for this last read for the week please is there anything else that you want to say in this situation anything else that you want to make known thank you for all the information that you've brought through today as well anything else i mean we could go into like the hanging tree and the store like i did want to i did also want to ask um where you are stored this is a death card hanging tree death card hanging tree and death card we also get the tied down card a lot um as well um okay what i want to get out here is the place you were stored can you just give me any information on that please where where i see you laying on the floor or your, your body is put can you show me um i don't know i asked that question and i don't know what happened there with the results of that one can you tell me where you were stored please where you where you were stored where you lured back this is her at the river stored at the river okay i think I'm, I'm still forming the question so it may not be it so can you show me where you were stored please where your body was stored is it like okay what i'm getting at here is like is it in her own home was it in um people have said like someone's attic or um or like a water a water drainage thing now tunnel drainage tunnel um there was like a they didn't say attic they said it made me feel like they stored it up in something it's in the comments anyway people have been suggesting how she's been stored in different places so that's what i'm getting at now please where was she stored somewhere could have even been in the water so this is what i'm asking you pull the cards please and tell me if you were stored somewhere after you had passed please after you passed between when your, your body you had passed and your body was found please tell me if you were stored somewhere okay accident okay accident narcissist um wrong um, that's the wrong direction gossip and rumor my my connection is really weakening weakening here so i don't i don't think i'm going to ask that question as much as i want the answer on that i don't feel like i have a strong enough connection to get into that now i feel like it's really weakened um so i'm just going to ask a really basic one is there anything else that you just want to say on this last read okay also i'm just going to pull one card from the medium deck and just see if there's anything else that you want to say to finish please There we go. Um, okay, a couple, of, a couple of questions there. Okay, I'm just going to hold, I'm, right, I'm just going to hold these up. I'm just getting male, female figure here, male and fe female figure. Do we have any letters on here? Not the numbers, so that's a male and a female. It's saying um, be honest, so be honest. Uh, and this one here is about van or trans transport here this one here is she's saying um i'm proud i'm proud be proud of yourself she's saying that's that was her message to come through um talking about battles now the cars that come through hmm, okay this makes me feel sad Okay, this is this is the Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune talks about how we're seeing things in one way and it's like a complete flip to be the other way. 
and it's saying this is my fault so I did this myself so what she's saying is that they're making it look like it's her fault she did it herself but really in actual fact this is the wheel of fortune saying it's completely opposite it's completely opposite to that she's saying there's such there's a much bigger picture to it this is a bigger picture so there's a much bigger picture to this situation so yeah but it makes me feel sad so she's not happy this is in the final light read of this <clears throat> it was in my voice and I feel this is something to do with the communication coming through with her that that's weakening as well um, as she's saying that it's been made to look like it's her fault but in with the wheels of fortune it's actually the other way around there's a much bigger picture to this and she's trying to get that information through so thank you for joining me I hope we got a little bit more answers in this one I'd love to read on this for hours but um, yeah the connection weekends and I think it does that for my um, for my health benefit so thank you for joining me um, as usual if you have any questions because I know you, you guys are like the detectives and the sleuths and you like to put all the pieces together and I know you source information from all over the internet which I don't do that so if there's anything that's making sense with whatever's going on out there if you could just drop a comment and let me know how this picture is unfolding and if any of it's kind of starting to make sense Thank you for joining me.